Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. In today's video, let's learn and understand the sources of water pollution. There are many sources by which water gets polluted, but the two main sources of water pollution are sewage and wastewater treatment. Now, let's go through all of these sources that pollute water. Oil spill. Oil spill contaminates oceans, rivers, and other water bodies. Oil from road vehicles gets flushed into oceans and other water bodies during rainstorms. Oil can seep and contaminate drinking water and make it inconsumable. As most oil types are less dense than water, it floats on the water surface and spreads out across the water by wind and currents. This affects marine life, including fishes, turtles, and seabirds. Mariculture. Mariculture is a type of aquaculture that involves breeding and raising marine organisms like fishes, squids, prawns, etc. in the open ocean or in a particular enclosed section of the ocean. Lots of chemicals are used to grow and cure diseases in mariculture. These chemicals affect the natural habitat in that region. Oxygen level in water is reduced by direct decomposition of mariculture organic waste. Water quality changes, as nutrients like nitrogen and phosphate are released in excess into the water. Sludge. Sludge is a residue that accumulates in sewage treatment plants. Sewage sludge can be solid, semi-solid, or a slurry residual material. Sludge is a byproduct of wastewater treatment processes. Sewage sludge may contain heavy metals, viruses, and bacteria, etc. Abandoned mines. Pollution from abandoned mines can be a major threat to water bodies. Abandoned mines can leach iron and other chemicals such as copper, lead, and mercury into nearby water bodies. A collapsed mine can cause a sinkhole. Combustion of fossil fuels. Fuel combustion releases compounds like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides into the air. These toxic compounds from the exhaust can rise very high into the atmosphere. These substances mix and react with water, oxygen, and other chemicals to form more acidic pollutants and falls on the land and water bodies as acid rain. This pollutes all the water bodies. Septic tanks. A leaking septic tank may discharge untreated wastewater directly into the groundwater or on the ground and into surface waters. Untreated wastewater contains contaminants like phosphorus, nitrates, disease-causing bacteria and viruses, metals, and solvents. Sewage treatment facilities. Wastewater treatment, or sewage treatment, is the process of removing impurities from wastewater, or sewage, before they reach aquifers or natural water bodies such as rivers, lakes, estuaries, and oceans. But more than 80% of the world's wastewater flows into the environment without being treated. Urban runoff. Urban runoff is a surface runoff of rainwater, landscape irrigation, car washing, etc., that are created by urbanization. Water running off from impermeable surfaces in urban areas tends to pick up gasoline, motor oil, heavy metals, trash, and other pollutants from roadways and parking lots, as well as fertilizers and pesticides from gardens and lawns. This runoff water ends up in oceans, rivers, and other water bodies and pollute them. Surface runoff. Surface runoff is the water that flows on the ground surface when excess rainwater, storm water, or other sources can no longer infiltrate into the soil. Surface runoff often occurs because impervious surfaces blocks water from getting soaked into the ground. As the water runs on the surface, it picks up impurities and contaminants on the surface and finally ends up in large water bodies thereby polluting them. Industrial runoff. Untreated chemicals and heavy metals from factories and other industries are dumped into water bodies directly. These contaminants are very toxic to aquatic and marine life. These contaminants reduce the organism's lifespan and its ability to reproduce. Landfills. Landfills can initially cause air pollution by emitting dust and gases such as methane, carbon dioxide, etc. Landfill gases are produced when bacteria break down organic wastes. Landfill gas may contain many different gases. Methane and carbon dioxide make up 90 to 95 percent of landfill gases. The remaining 5 to 10 percent includes nitrogen, 
oxygen, ammonia, sulfides, hydrogen, and various other gases. These gases rise high up in the atmosphere, gets mixed with water and other pollutants, and fall down as acid rain. watching the S1 play see you in the next video subscribe for more videos like up subscribe right here right now don't forget press the bell icon the choice is yours the S1 play